The origins of wine date back to antiquity. And winemaking has traveled through the centuries. Today, modern methods, coupled with the know-how of the past, allow us to extract all the aromas, flavors, and character out of a grape. Wine is the most complex creation in terms of aroma, with sometimes more than 200 different aromas. Four essential parameters come together to produce its unique taste. The essential ingredient is the grape. 10,000 wild varieties exist, while only 4,000 varieties are farmed. Among them, Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Chenin and Cabernet Franc. Sustainable farming methods encourage biodiversity and let Mother Nature take care of herself. A wine's vintage is the year that the grapes were picked to make the wine. We are very lucky. The fruit gives us everything. Juice, yeast, sugar, acids, aromas, taste, flavors, color, literally everything. Of course, quality grapes are primordial in making a good wine. And this is where climate comes in. Weather conditions, rain, sunshine, differ from year to year which means the fruit's characteristics are different every year. The terroir is characterized by the environment in which the vine grows. It is essential to look at the geological history of the region if we want to understand what terroir is. 145 million years ago, most of France, except the Armorican Massif and the Vosges, was covered by the sea. The Paris and the Aquitaine basins were all under the sea. Over several million years, the sea left layers of sediment in these basins. Other phenomena intervened during the Ice Age, where the sea pulled out and came back when the ice melted. All this contributed to the very varied range of sedimentary layers which characterize the region. The struggle for life is very important when it comes to fruit bearing. It's the struggle for life which gives the fruit. Easy life means no character. When the soil is poor, the vine fights to survive. Its roots push deep down to reach the substances in the soil, which will give the fruit the aromas typical of the soil's origins. All year round, man looks after the quality of the vine. From pruning to harvesting, he participates in the different stages of the grape's ripeness. The wine grower has inherited and held on to ancestral techniques and has also moved forward with contemporary methods. White from white, white from black. Whether the grapes are white or black, the juice is always white. It is the different procedures during the winemaking process that give the wine its colour. How did we make wine 2,000, 3,000 years ago? It's quite simple. To make white wine, we crush white grapes or black grapes, because the juice is always white. Thus, we obtain the juice and another substance. Look at the skin of a grape, and you will see a fine white powder called bloom. 
If you look at this powder under a microscope, you will see that it contains something which is essential to winemaking, natural yeast. We put the juice containing the bloom in an earthenware jar. Today, we use stainless steel vats, and right away, the yeast contained in the bloom provoked an alcoholic fermentation. The yeast transformed the sugar from the grapes into alcohol, resulting in what we know as wine. Autrement dit, la fermentation alcoolique transforme le jus du raisin en ce qu'on appelle du vin. The red wine making process is a little different. To make red wine, we used to put the black grapes into a big vat. We would take off our shoes and trousers and we would tread the grapes. Then we left the grapes to macerate, a process in which the colouring substances contained in the skin, tannins and anthocyanins, gave the grape juice its colour. Qui vont donc colorer le jus du raisin en rouge. Thus, the four essential parameters grape variety, vintage, terroir, and man's labor come together to give us an infinite spectrum of flavors and aromas, which are waiting to be discovered when the wine is tasted. To fully appreciate a wine implies a complete sensorial education. Tilt your glass lightly and look at the colours shimmering reflections. On the side of the glass, the wine leaves traces we call tears. Put your nose into your glass and breathe in gently. Then swirl the wine and inhale again before exhaling the aromas. Breathe in deeply to catch the fruity, floral or woody aromas. Enjoy a tide of flavors on your tongue and palate. Retro olfaction, inhaling with the wine in your mouth allows for an explosion of aromas. Je suis ravi de vous accueillir chez I'm delighted to welcome you to Longlois Chateau, to show you our winery and to share with you our knowledge of the great wines of the Loire Valley.